Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. On the morning of May 10, 2024, the already tense situation in Ukraine reached a new level of intensity as Russian forces initiated a significant armored ground assault in the northeastern Kharkiv region. This offensive, which had been anticipated by Ukrainian authorities for several months, marks a pivotal moment in the ongoing conflict, signaling a potential shift in strategic focus. The assault, aimed at pushing Ukrainian forces away from the northern border, aligns with Russian President Vladimir Putin's stated objective of establishing a buffer zone. The sudden escalation caught many by surprise, despite the growing anticipation of heightened hostilities. In the past 24 hours, the situation in Kharkiv has rapidly deteriorated, with Russian forces utilizing guided aerial bombs for airstrikes, particularly targeting the town of Vovchansk. Reports from social media also indicate the use of MLRS Grad from the neighboring Belgorod region, adding to the intensity of the assault. The Ukrainian Ministry of Defense swiftly responded to the attack by dispatching reserve units to reinforce the border area. Supported by armored vehicles and artillery, Ukrainian forces managed to repel the initial wave of attacks, although intense fighting persists across the region. President Volodymyr Zelensky, addressing the nation from Kiev, characterized the assault as a new wave of counteroffensive actions by Russia. He emphasized Ukraine's readiness to confront these challenges head-on, reaffirming the determination of the armed forces to defend the country's sovereignty. The strategic significance of the assault on Kharkiv cannot be understated. While Russian military efforts in recent months had predominantly focused on the southern and eastern Donbass regions, the decision to escalate operations in Kharkiv suggests a potential shift in tactics. This could either be an attempt to divert Ukrainian forces from other fronts or signify a broader effort to seize territory around Ukraine's second-largest city. Local officials in Kharkiv, including regional governor Ola Sinihubov, reported intensified artillery shelling, particularly around the border town of Vovchansk. Despite the challenges, Sinihubov assured residents that Ukrainian forces maintained a strong defensive posture, thwarting enemy advances and limiting their capabilities to mere provocations. The escalation of violence prompted evacuation orders for residents in the northern part of the region, especially those near Vovchansk, where the threat remained imminent. Authorities worked tirelessly to assist civilians in their evacuation efforts amid the ongoing bombardments. The resurgence of conflict in Kharkiv follows a familiar pattern observed since the onset of Russia's full-scale invasion more than two years ago. While Ukrainian forces had initially succeeded in driving Russian troops out of much of the region in 2022, subsequent counteroffensives have seen Russian forces gradually regain ground, particularly in the Donetsk region to the south. The situation in Kharkiv, compounded by weeks of severe shelling, underscores the challenges faced by Ukraine in defending its territory against a well-equipped adversary. As the conflict rages on, the balance of power remains precarious, highlighting the urgent need for international support to address Ukraine's pressing security concerns. That's all for now, see you later.